What we'll take a look at now is a quick tour of Macrobond to highlight the most essential features of the application so that you can get started. Once you've watched the video, you should have a good idea of how the application is organized and a basic foundation for exploring further. We've put together a collection of relevant resources to help you start working and provide answers if you get stuck. You'll find these resources on the same page as this video. If you look to the left side of the application, you'll see a row of tabs, here. These are called activities, and they're intended to make working in the application as easy as possible. Think of each activity tab as an ideal workspace for particular tasks. When selecting an activity, you're activating the tools you'll need to do those tasks. We like activities because they make it simpler and less cluttered to work in the application. So, what are the different activities for? Let's begin by having a look at Start. As you can see, it's divided into three sections. The Recent Document section, as the name suggests, will give you quick access to those documents you used most recently. The Latest News section provides you with notifications about new features, updates, and data additions. Under Help Topics, you'll find links to resources on our Help website. Selecting Browse will provide you with a few different options for easily finding, comparing, and visualizing time series from the database. It's especially effective if you want to quickly compare the same indicators across different countries. Next, we have Analytics, which can be best described as the powerhouse of the application. In Analytics, you can find and add time series to a document, create and apply calculations and analyses, and generate different charts and tables, what we refer to as presentations. You can also use the editing tools here to customize the layout and formatting of your presentations. In search, you can use keywords to find time series from any of the databases in the application. Use the releases activity to keep track of past and forthcoming data release events from the various sources you see in the application. Watchlist allows you to monitor updates or changes to data in your documents by adding them to a list. You can see which documents have recently changed and which are scheduled for updates and when. The final activity tab allows you to toggle between three secondary activities. You'll find the secondary activities in the pop-up menu below the activity tabs. The first one on the list is My Series. Select this activity to upload external data to create and edit your own time series. These time series can be used in all the same ways as the Macrobond time series, as well as be combined with them. Use the Style Sheets activity to predefine settings for the layout and formatting of your presentations. Applying a style sheet is a quick and easy way to create a uniform appearance for the selected charts and tables. And finally, we have Web Publish. This provides you with a simple way to publish Macrobond charts online, for example to blogs, websites, or social media channels. Charts can either be published as static or dynamic. With dynamic charts, any changes to the data will automatically be reflected online. That brings us to the end of this video. You should have a good sense of what's available to you, but if you'd like to get more acquainted with the basic setup of the application before you start learning how to use these features, have a look at the other introductory materials in this section. Otherwise, you can move ahead to the next section on finding data. Here you can either stick to the basics, which are just enough to get you working, or you can keep going for more in-depth coverage of the application features.